it was quite like a boring day today but I also thought like it's good to show you what's actually happening every day I think so now I have it all written I've got to just figure out how much it's going to approximately be for everything it's kind of like a mix of like a witchy kawaii kind of I think it's just where I haven't like learned enough stuff about Premiere Pro So today is Friday and it is 2 minutes to 11. I'm starting pretty late today. I've got my tea in my You Are Made Of Magic um, big giant mug, I guess. It's not really like, I don't know, is it a big mug? For me, it's a big mug anyway. And I got my trusty Marmite toast as well. I actually wasn't gonna record today. I wasn't gonna vlog today. Um, I thought, oh, well, it's a bit of a boring day. Like, nobody really wants to see that. And also, I'm so tired. This, like, recording a vlog every day um, while also, like, getting all your work done is really tiring. I haven't even, like, straightened my hair yet. I was gonna straighten it for the vlog. And then I was like, you know what? No. <laughs> I still might have to strain it anyway because I'm gonna be doing some reels today so and it kind of sucks because I want to show you guys me recording the reels but because I record with my phone currently then like I can't so I am going to show you the setup maybe when I'm editing I will show you like the videos that I made like the reels and tiktoks I made but yeah so I said it was quite like a boring day today but I also thought like it's good to show you what's actually happening every day I think and I mean today I'm gonna edit um one of the previous vlogs and then one of the things on my list was actually on my list yesterday and it's make like a big buy list and what I mean by that is like a big list of everything that I want to buy for like my business or things that I need to buy around the house there is a lot of like DIY stuff that needs doing not by me I'm I'm not gonna do that I have done that already I did that when we moved in we did a lot of DIY we like redid the floor like ourselves I'm not doing it again anyway a lot of it is business related like a lot of stuff that I want to buy for the business for instance like a camera I want a um, proper camera to record these vlogs with um and because I feel like I'm just starting I'm not I know I'm not just starting because I've been doing like vlogs and videos for YouTube for like the three years three or four years I don't know you have to go back on my channel but I've been doing them a while but I haven't consistently been doing them so I've never like invested um, but now I want to consistently do them. I've got things like that to put on my list. Um, I really want to get like a pegboard um, that I see in some um, art vloggers and like put it on that wall there. And I am thinking about getting rid of these acrylic shelves. So I really loved these when I first got them and I thought they were really handy for like the prints and for uh, my bookmarks and stuff. But they tend to like fall off really easily and I'm just thinking maybe what I'll get instead of this is like those crates and maybe put them along here or along that table or something um, and kind of like file everything in, pre-make it and have like a filing system for my prints and stuff because um, a lot of the times I am making stuff to order like I make the prints up to order and then I make the stickers and stuff up to order unless there's something here but as you can see it's like pretty bare and pretty like not used these just have like scraps of stuff that i didn't really use so i thought some like crates or proper like organization things would be better and i don't know would maybe work better than this so first things first i'm going to transfer over the files from my phone to my mac and then i'm going to start editing i am editing on premiere pro at the moment but i really want to get final cut pro so it's quite a chunk of money i think it's like 250 to buy um like outright which is good because then you're not paying like monthly for um premiere pro and like all the adobe products that is going on my like buy list and then the whole like purpose of this list is to have all these things that i want or need for the business and then kind of like organize and plan when i'm gonna buy them and this way i think it will be more productive because i'll actually like put the funds aside when i need them and actually use them for things that's beneficial rather than like randomly buying stuff which is currently what i do um i will like 
like for new products in my store, I would just randomly decide like, oh my god, I want to sell calendars. Usually I will just like very last minute decide I want to make something. And I feel like I'm also missing out on important sale dates by doing that. And I feel like I need to prepare a lot more. I'm really thinking about Valentine's Day, which I think is a very, very, very good idea. Um, because I know it's in February and to everybody else it probably seems like it's way too early but I have to like draw them, I have to think about what products I'm going to sell then I have to actually get them in the store ready for when people want to buy Valentine's Day stuff and I think that could be any time like middle of January to obviously the beginning of February I feel like February is going to be like Valentine's Day is Valentine's Day would be very like last minute bought for because it's not like a huge holiday but I'm not sure because I've never really sold um, anything Valentine's related except for a couple of like prints and also my personalized love heart stickers which seem to be doing really well right now before Christmas so that's kind of like making me think maybe I should make some more like love themed products. Let's get editing. So I probably should have done this while I was getting ready and watching vlogs all morning instead of now when I need to work. Let's get started and make the buy list. I'm not doing my prettiest font here. <laughs> We're gonna list everything for the business that we wanna buy. So final cut pro. So I have my list of everything I want to buy for my business that I can think of currently. Um, like, it's quite a lot of stuff. So now I have it all written, I've got to just figure out how much it's going to approximately be for everything and then maybe try and work out a system of um, like order of importance. Oh, I also forgot to add. Um, and also... Um, <laughs> Okay, so I mean, this is something that I wanted to do very, very soon. So, I mean, doing something like this puts back all of this, but this is really important to me to get done. And then this is probably going to be, I don't know, later in the year. Um, but now that I'm feeling a bit more organized, then maybe this is gonna be, 2023 is gonna actually be the year that I follow through with my tarot deck and actually get it done. Okay, so I'm just waiting for my vlog files to export. It's taking a little bit of time I film everything in cinematic um but I don't do like 4k or anything like that I just do 1080 okay it was just a plane <laughs> all I saw was out of the gray clouds it's like bright light like coming towards but anyway yeah while that's exporting I wanted to show you what I sketched up yesterday for my sticker sheets I wanted to make them more like I wanted them to have more of a branded kind of feel to them and I feel like how they are in the store right now is not so much. Anyway, I showed this to my patrons and this is the kind of stuff that I put on my patron all the time. So it's always gonna be like a little bit of behind the scenes and I wanna start adding like my reference images as well to my drawings to kind of like show you the process and how it like came together. So if I just show you, you might not be able to read it. Oh gosh, so am I. Might not be able to read it, but um, it says coherent sticker sheets. And then this is just basically what I want to keep in mind and I wanted it to have an aesthetic scrapbook brand kind of feel um, and that's why it's got these like overlapping like little um, PNG SVG kind of icons um, over here. Um, and then I wanted it to be unique to me and I mean I I don't know if this is unique to me but my like aesthetic and my branding is very like this with a bit of purple it's not just pink but um it's like the stars the glitter the um clouds the moon and the hearts so i'm trying to like bring that across in here and then i wanted to have it different but similar to other sticker sheets on the market so like if someone's buying a bunch of sticker sheets i feel like it's nice to have them all looking a bit 
uniform that's it you want them to look kind of like uniform um and so i kind of want to keep like title and then name and social handles i cannot talk today i can't like figure out my brain is just too tired but like social media um where i am and my handles etc um and then i've put here include my aesthetic and i have this on my um instagram bio as well like it just feels very me like it's kind of like a mix of like a witchy kawaii kind of thing which is what i'm gonna try and get across in my art in the next year i really want to improve on drawing my girls and stuff but i also want to draw more like kawaii animals and kawaii themed stuff like objects and stuff for stick sheets that is the idea that i have i am really excited to put it into practice i'm a bit worried because i was going to do like a green witches um sticker sheet but green isn't really fitting into my aesthetic so i'm a bit like do i just put it on this and like color this to be green like i don't know green and white maybe like white moon green hearts that kind of stuff do i just scrap the green which isn't anything that's not gonna fit with my aesthetic because i'm still gonna do like witches and stuff i don't know you guys it's still not finished exporting it is at 90 percent. so after i've edited the vlog if i even have time we're gonna do the reels if i have time tonight i might be too tired i might just go to bed but if i have time i will redo the sticker sheets i will work on winter princess i will show you the progress that i have so far of her we are slowly getting there and also i've named her and her kitty i've named them sophie so sophie's the winter princess the kitten or the cat is um snowflake originally i thought custard would be cute but then i thought well winter princess i should probably keep it within the theme i've got a um my color draft in the background so if I take that off, I've got more of an idea of what I've actually done. I really need to work on this because I want to get this done as soon as possible to start working on January. Start making February, Valentine's Day kind of products. I also have a plan for February. I am letting you guys know too much stuff. <laughs> I gotta spread this out and like all the vlogs. But basically I have a plan for February that I'm really excited about. I asked someone to collaborate with me. Did I tell you guys this? I can't remember. Maybe I did. But I asked her to collaborate with me and she said, yes, we've done stuff together before. And I am so excited, you guys. It's gonna be, it's gonna be amazing. But I also wanna like brainstorm and everything for it. And as we get closer, I will tell you exactly what it is. All right, let's get on to editing. <sighs> you guys, I just spent like, an hour and a half trying to understand Premiere Pro and After Effects and how to like do little things like adding a typewriter effect which I would expect things like that to be a lot less complex because like how are you supposed to do these kinds of things quickly? I think it's just where I haven't like learned enough stuff about Premiere Pro. I'm kind of just spent an hour and a half learning about it but it does look really nice i found like an overlay to use so i could have like a little part of the vlog um which you probably were, would have already seen because this is going to be like my third or fourth vlog since this found a way of doing like a little intro um like having a little overlay that says like on today's vlog and having it like come in like typewriter effect and then i found some audio to use as well for that because premiere pro doesn't seem to have any um like sound effects which i find a little bit weird for video editing like software you think they would have sound effects I'm now getting into actually editing and it's 10 past 2. I have to go on school run very soon. I haven't even recorded reels yet, which is kind of annoying because I want to chill out this weekend. I don't want to like do my hair and makeup and stuff, like nothing fancy um, like I do for the vlogs and for the reels. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like today or leave it for an entire few, well, not an entire week, but like three days or something. I am just heading out now onto the school run and I have done like, I don't know, um, like five minutes of my vlog that I've edited. So it's not a great deal to be honest. Um, who knows what's gonna happen with these reels and stuff. I might just have to do some like artsy ones instead of like memes slash skits of myself. 